I'm here to tell you, please get the book. I have read it through in three hours. This book is so good. If you are a murderino who is debating on whether or not they should read the book, then I say you should definitely read it. Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to Review Streets and I am here with an actual book review today which it has been a while since I've done one of those for someone who has a YouTube channel related to books. But today I am bringing to you Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. This book is from the creators of the number one hit podcast My Favorite Murder which is a true crime comedy podcast where Karen and Georgia each take turns telling each other about a murder that they've researched that week. It's just, and it's not always a murder necessarily either but it's always something to do with true crime and it's always always really fun and interesting and I know that's a, that's a bad word to use when describing a true crime podcast is the word fun but they do it in such a way where it's like you can talk about all these horrible events that happened and yet not be completely depressed the entire time and it's a good place for people like me who really love reading about true crime but oftentimes get weird look in but oftentimes get weird looks in public when you try and talk about it with your friends, maybe, who don't want to hear about the serial killer that you researched for some reason. So Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered is kind of like a dual biography where Karen and Georgia alternate telling kind of their, not just their life mottos, but what led them to realizing these mottos. So this book is basically broken up into 10 chapters, um, and eight of those chapters go through and talk about these life affirmations slash general lessons that they've learned. Um, and it it's not your typical like life advice from your you know self-help books that usually people give out but it kind of goes through and expands on a lot of things that they say on the podcast so for a familiar listener it's really cool to see kind of these sayings that have become really known to the murderino fan base and then for unfamiliar listeners it's just a bunch of really interesting sayings that actually help you live your life and what I love is it's not your like typical this is my life story so here's my sage wisdom type of stuff it's like someone who who you're really familiar and comfortable with just sitting you down and going, look, listen, this is my experience. This is what I learned from it. This is why you should not do what you're doing. Or this is why you should not do what I did. Or hey, also look, listen, I've done the same things as you. You get through it. It's okay. You know, like it's it's very non-judgmental. Like it just feels so conversational and so comfortable. And I think that's the reason why it's one of my favorite biography type book to come from someone who's maybe gotten like famous through like whether it's YouTube or podcasting or whatever way. None of them really feel like they're talking directly to you. While this book feels like this book was written just to have a conversation with you. You know, and it's it's funny because I only started listening to My Favorite Murder a couple months ago, and I listened to them when. When they came into a live show. It has been a podcast that I can listen to daily and even re-listen to episodes and never get tired of it. The community that's built around this podcast is absolutely amazing. You know, I got into it because I like, I love listening about true crime and I'm always really interested to talk about true crime cases and serial killers and all that type of stuff. But I kind of stayed because of how Georgia and Karen are and just the way that they're so open with each other, not only each other, but with us as listeners and the audience. It's a really great experience to have. Um, um, because not all communities are that welcoming or just like that um, honest and upfront with each other and I just feel like Karen and Georgia have really created this space where you could talk about these things that sometimes make other people uncomfortable and have like an actual conversation with people. It's a, just a really great experience to be part of. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now by saying if you have not ever heard of My Favorite Murder um, but you're into true crime or you're just into comedy podcasts or hey you want a podcast that does both, listen to My Favorite Murder. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. It is so good. It's so great to listen to. If you have listened to My Favorite Murder and were wondering if you you should get the book. I'm here to tell you please get the book. I have my greasy fingerprints all over it already. I have read it through in three hours today, Wednesday, and then this video will be up tomorrow, Thursday, um, which is perfect because Thursday is also the day I upload a lot of true crime type stuff. This book is so good. If you are a murderino who is debating on whether or not they should read the book, then I say you should definitely read it. Whether that means you buying it, whether it means waiting till it comes out to your library, or hey, getting it from a friend who bought the book. Read it any way you can. It's really good and it really just does read like a conversation. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for listening to this semi-book review slash just gushing about the podcast and how much I love it. I am exhausted. Oh my god. I think I've yawned like 20 times in this video. I've probably cut them all out, hopefully. If I haven't, then I'm sorry, but I've yawned like 20 times. I'm super exhausted right now, um, and I am going to go ahead and end this video here. So, 
That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos when there's something cool comes out that I want to react to. If you're interested in true crime and want to see more of my stuff, then check out the link to the true crime playlist that I made in the description down below, or you can check it up in the cards up here. If you have read this book and you want to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, or if you are a murderino and you just want to say hi, go ahead and talk to me in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.